All right, look at these beauties here. Just got this box in from France. This is a pair of 1920s, early 30s Marshall headlights. You can see Marshall badge right there. Um, that company made headlights like this for a lot of high-end pre-war European cars like Bentleys and Bugattis and Rolls Royces and that sort of thing. Uh, this is the small version. These are about 8 inches in diameter. They go up to as much as 12 inches, maybe even more than that. Um, but this is exactly the type of headlight that I was looking for in this. If you look at uh, pictures of the early Bugatti Speedsters, they have these exact headlights on them. Um, so this is, as you can see, it's a very solid set. Certainly needs restoration, but um, these are very nice. This one is missing this like outer ring. You can see that it has this very thin aluminum foil ring that sits in front of the glass. So I'll have to figure something out for that. Um, here's the glass for it, but. And these two lights are actually slightly different, mostly on the bottom here. Um, you can see this, this part right there is a little bit different on each one. Um, but the other thing is that on this one, for the mounting point, this one is set up so that you can slip a bolt in from the back so that just the threads stick out the bottom here. You can see it's kind of um, concave right here. And so that can like bolt down to your headlight bracket. This one, however, though, this is just a straight hole all the way through. So there's no easy way to just mount this right onto any custom bracket. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to modify this one to look the same way as this one and then I can mount them both in the same manner. All right, as you can see here, the mounting points are pretty much identical now. You saw I just turned up this piece on the lathe here, welded it right on the bottom of there to look just like this one on the right. 
And I really did not know how well this was going to weld here. This is just some cast aluminum here. Of course, I have no idea what the alloy is. Did not know how well that was going to weld, so I was kind of rolling the dice there. Um, but it was a little bit rough at first, but once it warmed up, it actually welded quite easily. And I was able to get a nice, strong fusion all the way around. And this is set up so that I can just slip a 7 16 bolt right through the top like that. And then bolt that uh, right on like that. And the other thing I did with these bolts it was because, because this hole up here is bigger than the head of the bolt there, I put a couple little tack welds underneath the head of the bolt there so that it will bite into the aluminum and then the head of the bolt won't spin while I tighten it from the bottom. So now what to do is to actually make the headlight mounts.
now that the headlights are in, you can really kind of see what the front of the car is going to look like now. now. These Marshall lights are one of the very few original parts that I was specifically looking for for this car. Everything else I've pretty much just been making from scratch, but I knew that I wanted a pair of these specific headlights on the front here, and I think they look absolutely beautiful. And in the next video, I'm going to be staying up here at the front of the car. I'm going to be making the grill here completely from scratch. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that because you're not going to want to miss the next video because that's going to be a good one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.